Buying real estate for your home or for your business is one of the biggest investments you're going to make. It also presents a great risk. Whether you're buying your first home or you're buying an investment property, or whether you're seeking to develop land for commercial purposes or for a hotel or for some other type of establishment. To guard against these risks, you must carefully scrutinize the restrictive covenants on the certificate of title. If you do not conduct your due diligence, you expose yourself to a number of risks which can be avoided. A restrictive covenant is an agreement made between landowners and it is written on your certificate of title. This agreement may have been made between the previous landowner and your neighbors. However, because it runs with the land, you are bound to obey the covenants. Restrictive covenants are often put in place by the developer of a neighborhood or subdivision to ensure that all the members of that community can peaceably enjoy their own properties without undue interference from a neighbor. For example, a covenant restricting the land to residential homes ought to prevent your neighbor from building, say, a call center or some other commercial building beside you. Other examples of restrictive covenants include minimum distance requirements where the building ought to be a certain distance from the surrounding boundaries, as well as restrictions to one dwelling house on the land or single family homes which developers may want to pay attention to. So long as these restrictive covenants remain unchanged on your title, not abiding by them will be a breach. Having an existing breach could potentially jeopardize your sale because the purchaser may not be able to secure financing from a mortgagee. Additionally, you could be required by a bank or financial institution to modify those restrictive covenants, cutting into your proceeds of sale, and nobody wants to lose money. Every breach of a restrictive covenant requires an application to the Supreme Court to modify the covenant so that it fits the breach that is being complained of. For very minor breaches, like the height of a boundary wall, that process should be fairly straightforward in court. However, for very serious breaches, it may mean that there is no possibility to modify the covenant. And what the developer faces is the order of the Supreme Court for the offending structure to be demolished, or for the order of the Parish Council for certain changes to be made to your development plans and your statutory approvals. If you are fortunate, you will only have to deal with the first two degrees of consequences, which may be considered mild in comparison to being required to demolish your house or development. If you already have your surveyor's identification report, which shows these breaches, or if you have development plans which you want to pursue, or even if you are just looking to identify land to purchase, email us, schedule an appointment so that we can guide you and help to protect you from these consequences.